The pine tar incident was so significant, it has its own Wikipedia page. But what was the pine tar incident? That's what we're going to cover in this video. <laughs> Let's just start at the beginning. It's July 24th, 1983, and the Royals are playing the Yankees at Yankee Stadium. The score is 4-3, and Goose Gossage is one out away from a save and a Yankees win. George Brett comes up to the plate with a man on first and a chance to give the Royals the lead. Brett crushes a two-run homer, giving the Royals the lead. Billy Martin, the Yankees manager, sees George Brett's bat and believes there's too much pine tar on it. He shares this theory with the umpires. For those that don't know, pine tar is a sticky substance that players put on the handle of their bat to give them a better grip. The MLB rules state that the pine tar cannot be past 18 inches from the handle. The reasoning for this is because having pine tar past that can result in discoloring of the ball and give pitchers a better control. Okay, now that we've covered that, let's get back to the incident. So Billy Martin tells the umpires that he believes there's too much pine tar on George Britt's bat. The umpires discuss this and conclude that yes, that the pine tar is past the allotted length on the bat. They call out Brett, which means the Yankees win the game. George Brett, unhappy with the call, charges at the umpires and just starts lashing out and attacking them. I mean, seriously, just watch the video. Forcibly restrained from hitting plate umpire Tim McClellan. And the Yankees have won. It eventually takes four people to hold him back. Meanwhile, Gaylord Perry takes the bat from home plate to umpire Tim McClelland and gives it to the bat boy to try to get rid of the evidence. But before he can give it to the bat boy, the guard stops him. Perry was ejected and the Royals lost. That's not the end though. After that, the Royals protested the game and Lee McPhail, the American League president, decided to fulfill the Royals' request and resume the game. It resumed on August 18th with the Royals up 5-4 to four in the top of the ninth with two outs and Brett and Perry ejected. The Royals ended up winning 5-4. to four. In 1987, George Brett donated the bat to the National Baseball Hall of Fame, which is where it is today. If you thought that was the end, you're wrong, because there's still more. In 2012, the Royals gave away a pine tar bat designed to look like the one George Brett used before a game at Kauffman Stadium. In 2018, the Royals gave the first 18,000 fans a George Brett pine tar bobblehead. Now that you know what the pine tar incident is, we're going to look at three fun facts about it. Fun fact number one, George Brett actually kept using the bat a few games after the pine tar incident until his friends and teammates convinced him to stop using it because if it cracked, it would not be worth any money. Fun fact number two, Brett has said that when he plays golf with other celebrities, they always want to check his clubs for pine tar. Fun fact number three, George Brett watched the rest of the second game from New Jersey. He decided not to come to the game since he had been ejected, so he just watched it from New Jersey. That's going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed the video and want more like it, then make sure to drop a like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Thank you.